The Timonium RV Show is a biannual event held at the Maryland State Fairgrounds every year. RV dealers from across the state show up wearing their Sunday best and make their effort to court new customers. Beckley's RVs are entering the fray again this year. The detail department is hard at work cleaning the units to get them show ready before the sales team drives them from our lot in Thurmont all the way to the fairgrounds in Timonium. Alrighty, Mr. Craig. Interview, take one. That's right. So it's Sunday, we're getting ready to go to the RV show. Normally we come in and hook up and we go, but Mother Nature's, Nature gave us a blow last night with some snow. So luckily, our, our great detail panel department came in today and they are out here washing the roofs of every camper getting the snow off of them to go to the show. Then we got all our teammates, salesmen, friends, technicians, PDI, hooking up the trailers and taking them down to Baltimore for, for us today. 72 in all on the road today going to the RV show, which we will be down there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday setting up. Hey, I'm Gary Moser, one of the managers at Beckley's Camping Center. There's days like this that I really enjoy. It's a little stressful trying to get all this stuff taken care of, but I love it when everybody comes together here all at one time, make one event happen that benefits the whole company. It's a good time, it's, it's working with some good people. It just makes me be proud to work here and proud to be part of a team like Beckley's Camping Center. We meet up with the Beckley's team in Timonium at 10 a.m. on Monday. The fact that the team was able to get so much inventory down there in one night is very impressive. Initial observations of the barren building affectionately referred to as the Cow Palace make me doubt the supposed opulence of the final product. Nonetheless, Craig tackles the task as though he were a painter staring at a blank canvas. Trouble rears its face quickly though. The planned layout failed to account for a support column. This could easily delay progress, since the units are already placed very close together. Well today we're going to get all our units inside the building and parked hopefully leveled, electric to them. But by the end of the day, we want to have all the campers in the main building parked and ready to go, because tomorrow the detail staff comes down and start cleaning it. So if we don't have it parked and ready, level, slide outs out, electric, they can't do their job. So that's step one is get them parked. My name is Jacob Walter. Uh, I work in the PDI department here at Beckley's RVs. So uh, today, uh, day one of uh, Timonium RV Show, uh, we got some detail department out there cleaning out the snow. Then after that, they're gonna come inside, straighten them out. We'll get the slide outs out, get the jacks down, level them out, and hopefully uh, finish up tomorrow, day two, and get some carpet laid out. Inside, we're having problems with the, with the layout. Um, sales department kind of put a trailer right through a pole. So unless we knock the pole down and knock the building down, we have to rearrange. So we're on the fly, moving trails around, and they don't bend in the middle. So sometimes you have to pull them out, switch them around, turn them around, make them fit. Right now, we're just going to get it done today. You know, it's a challenging day, but we will stay here. We'll get it done. This team is an all-star team. A lot of these guys have been doing it for 10 to 15 to 20 years. So they know what to do. I don't have to really tell them what to do anymore. It's just um, bred into them now. So today, we orchestrate. We get it apart. We'll get it done. We'll be ready for tomorrow. Arriving again at 10 a.m. on Tuesday, the progress from the previous night is truly impressive. Carpet has been rolled out, and the layout of the event begins to take shape. Another dealer, Chesico, is finally able to start pulling their units into the building, now that the majority of ours are placed. Meanwhile, only a stone's throw away. The team is getting set up in the second building, where we'll be showcasing smaller units. Progress here moves much faster. Everything is moved into position in only an hour and a half. Not long after, lunch is served for the whole Beckley's crew, giving them a much-deserved break. For the rest of today and tomorrow, the team will continue laying out carpet and building the sales tent in order for our IT specialist, Lee Gray, to set up the electronic systems. This will enable the sales team to operate at full capacity, as though they never left the dealership. We return to Timonium on Thursday to cover the last day of the process. What's the big idea? And by the looks of things, it would seem we're 90% of the way to being ready for this show. Each unit has been cleaned a second time, and they look immaculate. Lee has arrived and has begun the process of building the electronic backbone of the event. Within minutes, the Wi-Fi is enabled and our remote sales office is operational. Well, today I am here to set up our internet uh, network here so that we can get the uh, displays, the computers, the laptops, everything up and running. Uh, I was running some wiring earlier. Now I'm in the process of setting up the actual network itself. 
When I leave today, it will be a fully fledged dealership remotely uh, at this location. Putting the final touches on the RV show. Um, the final details of putting the signs up, placing price signs, uh, putting Beckley signs, uh, making all the, sure all the units are clean. Uh, just putting the final touches on the show so we are ready for the customer. Perfect. We're finishing up, getting ready to turn the show over to the sales department, getting all the um, extra stuff we do, like a money booth, the tent, the lighting, the literature, all the little fine touches to get everything done. We're going around, cleaning all the apartments, waxing everything, make sure every window's done. We don't leave anything left undone when we come to setting up a show. And our team does an amazing job. Hopefully they'll come down here and sell anywhere between 75, 80 units this weekend and do it again the following weekend. If all goes well, we'll come out of here at 125 to 150 sales. Today, I was drafted to put the camera down for a second and build the projector, which will play a compilation of content for the customers as they walk by our display. The universal mount leaves a lot to be desired. I feel like I have my work cut out for me. But with a little teamwork, we make it work and it's ready to go. After finishing the projector mount, I take a look around and begin to realize the impressive scale of the transformation inside this cow palace. I feel humbled by the efforts of our team. If I thought the projector mount was going to be a challenge, then I certainly wasn't prepared for our mounting surface. Mounting this to a sign suspended on chains certainly isn't ideal, but yet again, teamwork makes the dream work, and soon enough, everything is mounted. Shortly thereafter, 3 o'clock comes around. We've officially set everything up. Everyone is ready to go home and get ready for the start of the show on Friday. Tearing it all down comes much easier. The final Sunday of the event concludes in the evening, and without hesitation, the team tackles the task of bringing it all back to our dealership, concluding our journey at Timonium. Oh.